Hey guys, super quick video for today. We're gonna look at how to export the logs from your Leaper Kim wheel. Now this applies to the Sherman S, the Patton, and the Lynx. And import it into your computer to use the decoder on Google Spreadsheets that I've created uh, for you guys to kind of figure out what's wrong with your wheel in case there's something wrong. So of course the first step is to have your wheel be on. Uh, once it's on, you can look into the Leaperkin mobile app. You can search for your wheel. And then once you're in the screen, I'll have the settings also. You hit the cog icon, then you'll go to download log and get latest log. Now what will happen is that it will start downloading the log based on uh, how you've used the device previously. As you can see, all I've done is turn it on and off. But of course this will tell you after we import it into the computer, it'll show you what we've done to it. So now if I were to lift the wheel and kind of move it around, because this wheel has no errors, you won't see anything on the screen. But once you get a couple, like if you get around 150 to 100 lines of code, you'll see some of the different contents there, uh, which we can look into what they are. Then what you can do is you can hit the share icon and you want to save it to your files. And what this does is it'll save it as a log.txt file, which I already have. So I'm going to keep both. And now we're going to the computer and I'll show you what to do with it. Okay, so once you have the data file downloaded to your computer and you've opened up the Leaperkim data log decoder on Google Sheets, which I have the link below, uh, you'll see the first tab is the instructions. And then you'll want to copy and paste all the lines onto the decode output sheet where the blue section is. Once you've copy pasted, you'll see on the right side, he has a decoder. So I'm gonna expand this uh, window a little bit. So you'll see that the error code description as well as the subcodes. So subcodes just give you a little bit more data or context. But what you wanna do is read it from a power on state to a power off state and the time scale is inverted. So when you go down the list, uh, it's actually going earlier in time. Whereas if you're going upwards, it's passing as with time passes. So you can see the timestamps on that column D. So that's how you go and decode the logs. Now, of course, it's not a be all end all. So if you are, if you are having problems with your link, still reach out to your local supplier or retailer that you got it from, and they can help you out further but at least it gives some clarity as to what could be going on with your wheel. Hope that helps. And if there's anything, again, comment down below, ask your questions, we're there to comment, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell or whatever, and I'll see you next time.